Welcome to Solax Academy Tech Talk Channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In this video, we're gonna go through some troubleshooting. If you connect your batteries to the inverter and you can see that the batteries are not connected, in this video, you will see us go through some tips. So the first thing we need to check is the battery ports. So here you can see the black lead is negative and that needs to go into the negative port. And you've got your red lead and that needs to go into the positive port. You need to make sure these are nice and tight and firm. And then as well, you have your BMS cable. So you need to take this out and you need to check if it isn't damaged and everything is correct. And then when you're putting it back in, make sure you pull it in and just pull it back out and push it back in and it's got to be nice and tight so it can talk to the batteries, okay? So you need to check the terminals here and you need to check the BMS here. And then secondly, we need to check the dip switch. The dip switch is on number one. And the reason why it's on number one is because we have one slave. If you used to have an, add another slave, we would need to change that to number two. But we will keep it at number one for now. And we will turn the batteries on. So it's the main breaker first, and then you push this power button in. Then you will, you will hear some clicking on the battery and you'll see this light here flashing. So now you've seen that that's green. On the side of the batteries, you will see S1 and S2, and this is on the master and on the slave, and they will flash every five seconds. And when they are both flashing green, that means they are okay. And if they are flashing with a different color, i.e. red, then you will need to take a video and get in touch with us. But before that, we will show you some tips on how to measure the voltage on the slave battery and on the master battery. And then from there, I can show you how to do it. Okay, now it's time to measure the voltage on the battery. So we need to make sure the master and the slave are working independently. And to make sure that that happens, you need to disconnect all cables from the master battery. Also, because we're measuring the voltage on the master battery first, you need to take the short lead out of the slave battery and you need to add it to the master battery. And then, before we met was to measure the voltage on the cables here, because we've disconnected them from the inverter, we need to change this, the dip switch to number four. And then we need to turn the main breaker on, press the power button. We need to get a DC voltage tester. And please make sure that the battery is fully on. You will hear some clicking. Now that the battery is ready, we will measure the voltage on the DC cables from the battery. And you can see we are getting 120 volts and that is good. Anything below 100 volts isn't good. And please take a picture of that if it is below 100 volts. And now that we have measured the battery, master battery, that is okay. Now it's time to measure the slave battery. But first, we need to turn the master battery off and we need to disconnect the short lead from the master battery. And then, all we do is add the short lead into the slave battery and measure the voltage just like we did with the master battery. But because it's a slave battery, it has no dip switch. So you can just measure it straight from the cable and take it from there. If any of these tips haven't worked for you, then please get in touch with your Solax 
supplier or your Solax technical support engineers and we will be happy to help you. But we will require videos of the lights of the S1 and S2 flashing and we will need pictures of the voltage of the 40 battery or both batteries. Thank you very much and I hope this video helps you. I look forward to the next video because we've got many to come. Below we would add a manual for the T58 batteries to help you to make sure the cabling is wired correctly. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you very soon.